We are at the Rock River at wherever this is. I don't really know. It's right next to a boat launch. There's a bridge over there. There's a pile of logs over there, which makes it excellent gato fishing um, room. So we're gonna see what we can get here, toss some worms, hopefully get some cut bait, and then see if we can get some large, large fish. A little bit look at the landscape. The bridge is over there. The boat launch is over there. Lay down right there. I don't know if it looks like a little shallow for a really large fish to be like just around that area, but I'm going to put a pole over there and see if I can get anything. All right, we're going to sling it towards the bridge. See some wisps of fish in the water and uh, we're just going to leave it there. The rock has a current here, obviously, but it's not super duper strong. We're close to Janesville. That's the nearest city. We're right outside the city and this looks like a good spot with a lot of fish activity. I bought some mimic minnows today, and I'm going to toss one out. If you want to uh, donate to my fishing cause, you can leave a small tip. Any amount will help. I don't care if it's five cents. Gas ain't cheap to drive out to all these places, let me tell you something. And uh, yeah, the fishing equipment isn't cheap either. And when you fish on a daily basis, you run through it pretty quickly. You break lures, you break lines, you break sometimes poles, but often reels. So any little bit would help. I'm hoping to get a big one here. As you can see, there's a big lay down right there, but uh, it's very, very shallow. So I'm not really sure if you can get anything in that lay down. Starting to get really dark. I got several little tings, but I couldn't get any hookups for anything. I think they're tiny little bluegills and I don't have the hooks to actually hook them. Started throwing big night crawler balls out there now. Hopefully we'll be able to get something. All right, I think I finally got a fish here. It's a night. I just switched positions <coughs> to the dock. It looks like switching positions is already paying me dividends. Uh, that's a fish. That is a fish. Looks like there's just more bait over here. Should have been fishing here all along. There's more bait over here. Bait fish over here. So there's more fishes over here overall. I don't know what that is, but it, I don't think I don't think it's that big. I think it's a probably like a one pound fish. Oh. Maybe a little bigger. Yep, it's a drum. It's like a three, two pound drum. There you go, night drum on the Rock River. All right, that's a nice fish. First fish of the night did not skunk. Won't cut this guy up, see a fish. Flips and goes in. Look at all these awesome minnows in the water. Also at this ramp. I think I can just get a couple to use as bait. Oh, there we go, see? Got three right there, three right there. We're gonna use these as bait. I'll walk on the dock and cast this uh, bait. It's full of minnows out in the abyss. I think there is someone coming back from their boating trip, but that's fine. We'll just cast this way out into the rock. And, of course, set it on these rocks over here. And, uh, yeah, that'll be pretty good. Hopefully this will get us, a, get us a big catfish or other fish. Bowfin, catfish, doesn't really matter. We're good either way, just a big fish, not another drum. A little rock crevice. I think the pole over here with minnows actually hit. Although it's grown somewhat silent, so maybe it came off. But usually if something goes crazy like that, it does not come off. So we'll see. There's a fish on here. So I was sure it, it got hit. All right, let's see what we got here. I think it's still on. Yep, it's definitely still on. I think it's probably just another drum by the way it's fighting. It's, it's not that big. If it was a flathead, that'd be awesome. But it's not that big. Once again, I mean, there could be small flatheads, I guess. But freshwater drums are pretty much the, uh, is that a catfish? I think that might be a catfish. It's a small one. Channel gato fish. Oh yeah. Channel gato fish. It's not a bad one, but really not anything to write home about. Small channel, ate a couple of the minnows. Not too bad, they're starting to hit. Channel gato fish. Right, I'm gonna let this guy go because uh, we like our fish to be free. Yes. Freedom fish, freedom. There it goes, scatters all the minnows. Let's keep tossing these minnows out. Three or four minnows on a hook. 
These are actually like smaller shiners. These aren't like minnows. So they're a little bit bigger than regular minnows for the most part. So fish, big fish, will find them kind of tasty. Don't need to toss them out that far from the dock either. Just need to make sure they're out there and they're available for a fish buffet. That one, that one, it's got a fish. Yes, the minnows, they clutch, they come through for me. But these don't look like big fish. Yeah, none of these feel that big. I just was hoping to get into one and feel that it's ginormous. But these are all like either probably freshwater drum or small catfish. This one feels like it's one or two pounds, like all the others. Man, I'm looking for the huge ones, but I can't get the huge ones. Is that a catfish? Oh yes, the gato fish has started gatoing. That's a that's good news. But we need bigger ones. Channel catfish. All right, fish, see ya. I just hope all the big ones aren't spawning. That would kind of suck. But I think that's probably the, uh, the thing on the rock. The water's been 70 degrees for about a week or two now. So I think they're probably making love and not really biting bait all that much. But not everything spawns at the same time and there's still the smaller ones to actually catch. So I guess it's okay. Two catfish and a drum so far tonight. Not great, obviously, but uh, could be worse. I could get nothing. Oh yeah, I think we got another one over here. Not too bad for tonight. I think this will be the third one, third catfish. Maybe it's a drum, I don't know. This one doesn't feel too, this one feels eh, about the same as the, the others. Man, I just want a big one, but big ones do not come that easily. This one does feel slightly heavier, but it's probably like a two pounder. If there's anything good about it. Hopefully it's a two pound flat. Could be a drum though. I think it's a, what is that? Is that a walleye? Oh, that's a pretty big walleye if it's a walleye. Oh, nope, it's a catfish. Channel gato fish. All right. It's a nice one. Maybe like a one and a half pounder but not much else to write home about. Channel, gutlefish, third one of the night. All right, another one, solid. Probably 15 inches or so. See a catfish. Keep gutling. We're gonna walk over here to this other spot, switch to a smaller hook. My baits just keep getting like stolen over and over again. I think it's small drum uh, that are actually eating them and they can't hook, unfortunately. I wish there was a big flathead here. I have caught quite a few flatheads on minnows. And uh, since there are the native bait here, I wouldn't be surprised if I would get a big one. It's just that I don't know if the big ones are here or not. I really hope they are though. Really hope they are. All right, one more fish. Probably last fish of the night on the minnows again. I'll make four channels for tonight. Not too bad. This one feels a little heavier. Actually, they all feel about the same. They're like probably two, three pounds. This one's caught on a rock now. There we go. Eh, not a big one. I don't know if there's any big ones here. All eater size. All eater size. There's one. Channel catfish. Four channels. Not too bad, not too bad. But not a big one. Still looking for the flathead, not getting it. These are fat though. These are all small ones. I think all the big ones are spawning. Oh well, nice channel. Fourth and last channel of the night. Not too bad of a night. Not too great of a night though. Wanted a big flathead, didn't get it here. Probably not the best place on the rock to fish for huge flatheads, but uh, see you channel. Time to head on home. Four catfish plus one drum. Not too bad. This is the boat ramp outside of Janesville. Trexler is actually really good for catfish in the morning, but you have to go at like 6 a.m. because the action stops around like eight. But anyways, not too bad tonight, it's midnight. I'm gonna go home. And uh, didn't catch a big flathead. They haven't been biting lately, They're probably spawning. But I will be back at Johnson's Creek and other places going for a really large one as soon as July hits around and they finish spawning. Because I think on the rock right now, they are spawning and they have been for about a week or so. Water temperature has been 70 for about two or three weeks now, since basically since uh, mid late May. So like and subscribe. Don't feel uh, don't uh, feel embarrassed to ask questions, or don't be afraid to ask questions. I will get around to you answering them, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. 
Hopefully we'll have some bigger fish and more exciting fish in the next one. See you guys later.